what's up guys learning with rich here in this video i'm gonna show you how uh, how to add construction details to our detail view so as you can see i have here my parapet roof uh, detail view so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to add some uh, details to this uh, drawing okay so let's get this thing started so what i'm gonna do here is I'm going to open the wall section at grid one. Okay, so I'm going to open this. So here's my view. So as you can see, I have here my uh, call out view. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this so that my parapet roof here will going to be adjusted as well. So actually, you can just click from here and then you can also adjust in this view. But for you to be able to see the big picture, Okay, you can go to the section where you have placed that call out and then from here you can adjust. So I'm going to adjust here. So let's say I'm going to uh, adjust that area to the top. Okay, and then let me just go back again to my parapet roof and that's it. Okay. Right, and then the next thing that I'm going to do here is I don't want to see this area here. So that's why what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the far clip offset here. Okay, so to do that from the properties, I'm going to change here the far clip offset. So instead of 8,000, I'm just going to make it 1,000, let's say 800. Enter. And then as you can see, this area here will now be disappeared. So basically, I just adjusted the far clip offset value the view range something like that okay and let us now modify our model okay so i'm going to select the roof this one and then just make sure that it is concrete insulated Okay, because there are other options here when you open this exercise, if ever you're going to avail the exercise files. Sometimes the settings of this is just a uh, wood rafter or a generic roof. Okay, so for this one, so I will be using uh, concrete insulated. So I'm going to select that one and then I'm going to modify this and then I'll just click outside. Okay, so now let's add some detail components and some repeating detail component and some detail lines. We are just going to add some 2D drawings here. So to do that, I'm going to select annotate. So here on our detail panel, so these are the tools that we use to create 2D elements. Okay, view specific elements. So when you say view specific elements, so you can only see these elements in the view where you have placed it. Okay, so if you place your detail line in this view, you can only see it here. You will not be able to see that in other view. Okay, because it's a view-specific element. So all these tools here on our detail panel, they are all view-specific elements. Actually, same with dimension, same with tags. So they are all view-specific elements. Okay, so let's do this. So here I'm going to select my detail component this one so i'm gonna select detail component and then from the type here i'm going to select here a uh, mortar joint so let's select that one so i'm gonna select this okay and then i'm just gonna place one here okay so i'm just gonna place one here and that's it so that's now my detail and then after that, I'm going to select here, uh, modify. Okay. So that's uh, one detail. So now the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate this. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this from uh, modify. I'm going to use here array. Okay. So it creates a linear or radial array of selected elements. So for this one, we are going to use linear. Okay. So I'm going to select that. So let's click our uh, detail here, the mortar joint. So let's click that and then enter. Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to make sure that linear here is selected and then group and associate here is check. All right, and then for the number, I'm going to make it, let's say, 7. Enter. 
okay and then I'm gonna move that to second all right so I'm going to click this and then I'm going to move my cursor down and then specify the distance so I'm just gonna move down and then I'm going to type uh, 75 enter and there you go so let me just select your modify so I'm going to adjust my view range here something like that okay so as you can see it's now total seven so if I click this since they are associated and grouped I can still change it okay so you can still change that so let's say you want the 10 or 5 so you can change that and all of this uh, mortar joint will gonna be adjusted as well okay so let me just click outside and I'm going to select all of my uh, arrayed elements and then I'll just nudge it below just a little using the arrow on my keyboard and that's it okay now the next thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm going to do that again I'm gonna insert a mortar joint again but this time I will be using repeating detail component okay so let's click this and then as you can see there's already your uh, mortar joint uh, created okay so you can check the properties of that so you can go to edit type and then here's the property so the detail that we will be using here is mortar joint and then after that the distance or spacing is also 75 and then we will be using the fixed distance here okay and then uh, inside here is check okay if ever you don't have this type of uh, detail so you can always uh, duplicate your repeating detail here and then change the name after you change the name to mortar joint then you can just uh, put this uh, details for the detail layout inside spacing and detail rotation okay so basically this is the settings and then I'm going to select here modify so this is a repeating detail component so we are going to create uh, multiple uh, mortar joints so I'm going to pick here as my first point okay and then I'm going to move up so as you can see it repeats the detail as I move my cursor so that's the difference of detail component and repeating detail component so I'm going to click here to place my elements and then I'll just select your modify so that's it so little by little we are adding some details to our model elements so now for the area here so let us add some more details so I'm going to select a uh, detail component okay and then I'll be using another detail here which is this one uh, can't strip so I will be using uh, 75 by 75 mm so I'm going to select that and then I'll just place it here. That's it. And then I'll select here modify. Okay, and then let us uh, uh, let us put some more detail here. So I'm going to put uh, detail line. So just create a detail line. So I'm going to select my detail line here. And then I'm going to put here an offset distance of let's say uh, 6 mm. Enter. And then I'm going to pick here like that. I'm going to pick here and then I'm going to pick somewhere here. There you go. And then just modify. So let me just click this and adjust up to here. There you go. All right. So that's it. So the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add a break line here. To finish up our detailing so from the annotate again I'm going to select uh, detail component properties let's use the break line here so let's click that and then we're going to place one here you can flip that you see that arrow there that one that icon so you can click that to flip your break line okay so I'm gonna press space bar to rotate my break line like that and then I'm gonna put one here and then I'll select here modify again I can still select my break line and then I can flip that so where is that flip icon mm. all right so where is that 
can't find it okay i'll just press the space bar okay there you go oh there's the flip icon anyway you can also press the space bar to flip your brake line or you can just click that icon okay like that and space bar <laughs> okay there you go so we just added our uh, brake line so for this one i'm just gonna hide this let me click this one right click let me see i'm gonna hide that element and there you go so this is now my detail okay so as you can see the view is now ready for text notes and other annotations okay so if ever you're going to modify your 3d model so you also need to adjust your detail components okay right so that's it for this simple exercise of uh, detailing so here we have learned how to use our uh, detail components, repeating detail components, and also our detail line. Okay, so thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.